This is Jim Gao. Today is uh, September 19th, 2021. Today, uh, I want to show you guys how to use the latest version of our extension, version 29, to create NFTs on Hedera Hashgraph. The latest version, you can go to myhex.io and click on download. It's going to bring us to the, the Chrome Web Store where you can download version 29. And after that, we're going to open it and go to token. Select operation, we're going to say create token. And we're going to select non-fungible, NFT. And you see a window opening on the left. So for this name, we'll just create, let's say, call um, Pet Ghost. Uh, we can choose to store the token either on Hedera mainnet or on Filecoin. We choose Hedera for now. And uh, there's going to be a, a image associated with this token. We're going to upload the image. We're going to. There's going to be a template name. You can name it uh, anything. We we'll just call it uh, Ghost Series. And uh, you can add any property. We can just say owner is or equal to Jim. And we hit create now uh, it costs five hex tokens for each token we create whether it's nft or fungible so if you don't have enough hex token make sure you swap for some first using either ethereum or hbars using our extension and we hit confirm so the process is going to upload the image file and the metadata of the nft onto hedera mainnet and it's going to take a while uh, depends on the size of the file, of course. So I suggest if you want to create, um, you know, uh, these NFTs, try to use a smaller uh, file size. For videos, you know, especially those that's going to be several kilobytes, several hundred kilobytes or even megabytes, those will take a very long time, uh, several minutes or even, you know, tens of minutes. So make sure, keep that in mind when you are about to upload a large file as NFT on the uh, Hedera mainnet. So just wait for the logo to stop spinning for the operation to finish. And also we uh, recently created a browser for NFTs um, that you can use to check on the NFT you just created. And this one we created successfully. Let's save the information um, so we can retrieve it later. So in a nutshell, this is how you create NFTs using the Hashgraph Exchange extension. And on the next video, we're going to bring you to the uh, browser, the NFT browser that we just created, where you can browse, search, and uh, check on the NFT you just created or any any NFT on the Hedera mainnet. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video.